from anime. Yes, yes, yes. It is indeed time to start the show. Hello. My name is Flexa. Hopefully, most of you will know me. Most of you are here because you know the stream, but maybe some of you have come across from different paths. I have um, put this stream out into different groups that I normally share to, trying to spread the, the, the community love. Hopefully, there are a few people here that are just interested in streaming in general. Um, but yes, welcome. My name is Flixter. We're not doing our normal thing here. We're not doing our painting, our creative artistry, the usual stuff. Um, we're going to go through the tech side of things again. It's, it's another episode of our Streamer 101. It's, uh, an ep it's a thing. Right after these messages. <laughs> yes. Uh, Falcon. Legend. Oh! A full legend, a tier three, twenty four ninety nine, all the love and hype legend. Thank you, Falcon Punch Drunk, you absolute hero. How are you? Thank you so, so much. Um, hello, everyone who hang around the chat. Thank you so much for hanging down to the countdown as usual. Um, I'm feeling slightly better. I look better. I still have a, a, a nasally voice going on. I'm still ill and still got the, the classic cold, but I am no longer completely full of Nurgle. Um, my wife and my child, unfortunately, I pass it to them. They're looking after the Nurgle for me. <laughs> but um, yes, thank you all of you. Um, Oriel, lovely to see you do. So nice to see you as well. Taria, Blipsqueak. Um, I see a lot of names in here that are either starting to stream or ready streamers or are interested in streaming. That's fantastic. That's what this is all about. Hopefully this is useful to you. I appreciate you guys being here live. Of course, this will be um, exported to YouTube and you'll be able to review this back. So if I go too quickly, which is common because I do quick, um, speak quite quickly. Um, if I go too fast or we, if we skim over some bits, um, then obviously you can go and review it back on the VOD. Being here live allows you to ask questions, though, and that's the critical thing here. This is interactive. It's Twitch. That's the point. This isn't just a YouTube video that you can go in. But there's tons of those that'll probably explain things far better than I will. But the idea here is this is can be a, you can ask questions at the same time. So, um, but yeah, Drene, how are you doing as well? Kalini, welcome. Spam text there as well. I see all you guys. Um, right. So where are we going to begin? So I want to go through audio today. We've got a few other Mr. Bobs to do. I want to do an OBS specific episode at some point we're going to go through uh and we're going to talk about you know overlays and setups and scenes and sources and all the fun stuff that that you um that is you know, associated with that um but i'm waiting for a few other things to, to drop into line uh elaborate who has uh won the giveaway so to speak to become the focus of that episode where we will go and create him some basic overlays um and all that kind of jazz. He's waiting for a logo and some colorways and stuff. And you can't really build an overlay without knowing the logo because you kind of draw inspiration from the logo. So all of that's kind of going on in the background. But when that's ready, we'll be doing an OBS specific episode as well. But for today, for now, we'll talk about audio. Right. So I figured the best place to start would be the physical devices that I use in my setup. Now, my setup is obviously, um, some of you may already know this, is... Um, Ah, oh, Oriole, thank you so, so much, dude. Appreciate that. Um, some of you may be aware my or setup is, is far from basic. Uh, in some instances, you could consider it overkill for sure. It's still not perfect. I'm still tweaking various settings to get my voice as you know at the level I want and the audio and all the setups and obviously all that kind of jazz with music and alerts and all the other stuff you come to think of. Um, however, it's, it's certainly, as it currently stands, Makes me smile. I think I'm I'm where I want it to be. I've just got to make sure the settings are slowly but surely improved. Oh my word! What is going on? Surreal. Lemming. Thank you so much, man. That's amazing. Thank you guys. I don't even expect subs today. It's a random tech stream. <laughs> Surreal. Tier two, man. Thank you so much. The Lemming legend. Where's KDM? Normally when Lemmings are around, KDM's hiding in the mists somewhere. Hey -ho. Um, but yeah, right, we'll go through I'm going to go through everything from the physical setup I have, uh, mics, um, the boom stands, cabling, uh, mixers, everything that I've physically got set up. Now, you don't have to do this. We'll go through you know, a simpler setup, but the fundamentals will still exist. Um, so um, I'll go through the physicals. I'm going to show you a photo of the studio where I am here, this lovely room you see me in every time I stream this room um and I go through and I'm going to show the setups that I use for the various guys is obviously most people in here are creative streamers so you'll be in a situation where you won't necessarily be right next to your computer 
Um, obviously, so a few of you in here are also gaming streamers or variety streamers that do both creative and gaming. So we'll go through the other setup I've got with the secondary mic for when we're on PC. So I'll go through all that. Um, once we've gone through the physical devices, I will then show you the software I use to separate audio, to tidy audio, to clean out background noise. Uh, and we'll go through a bit more in detail each bit and bob. Um, but it always seems better to start with an overview first. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so using the wonders, he says, hopefully, of uh, shortcuts. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to jump on over. So give me a second, guys. We're going to jump over to the other screen, the PC setup. And we'll, uh, and we'll go through from there. Okay? Cool. Right. Back in a minute. All right. Hello. So hopefully you can hear me now on a different mic. My voice will sound different. The level will be different. Um, I've not quite got those two balanced perfectly. I was testing before the stream. Um, it's not ideal. Um, but this is the PC setup. So this is where I am when I'm doing the tech streams like today, Streamer 101s. Uh, it's also where if I'm playing video games, if I'm doing um, programming or anything like other than just simply painting. Um, it's also the easiest way for me to show you all the setup I've got. So we are going to go into this now and one of my setups here and I'll just, here's what I prepared earlier. There you go. Right, so, um, let me just check. Hopefully that worked for you. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. So on this setup, so what you're looking at here, let me just uh, make sure I get mine correct. Okay, so this obviously is a rather elaborate setup. Obviously, this is far more than you actually need when doing a setup, but this is where I am currently. As you can see, this is my setup. This is my studio. Um, and what the reason I'm showing you this and the reason we're going through this now is because I want to show you the physical setup of the devices. Okay? So ignore the monitors, ignore the silliness, ignore the Houston you know, space station, whatever you want to call it. That's, you know, because I was in a lucky situation where my office had multiple spare monitors and I was a tart and I went and bought lots and I stole lots. So... I haven't seen that for quite some time. Hey, pal, glad to see you're feeling better. Thank you, Spam, man. That's incredibly kind of you. For those that are here, hype it up, man. All the love and all the hope for that. Thank you so much. We're, 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 we're low viewership. We're, we're, we're a streaming 101, but this is the point. Thank you, Spam. Hopefully you find this useful and appreciate that. Um, yeah, we are feeling better. We're not perfect, but we're certainly better. And, of course, you just saw the fantastic work there of Blipsqueak the Clown. One of his fantastic animations. So cool. Always humbled. Um... Okay, uh, all right. So yes, going through this. So obviously, this is this is far beyond re requirement. Put it that way. But the fundamental basics are still the same. So we're going to go through that. So you can see here. This is an older screenshot. Um, I've just hosted Jimmy the Brush after a stream. You can see there's my outro there, going. We've hosted Jimmy, and you can see my OBS in the corner here. So this is this post stream. I just took a photo after we'd done. I think this is the Airbrush 101. I think it was because that's what that's us base coating some flesh terrors. Um, okay, anyway, so you can see here, I've got a mic, uh, this is an XLR microphone, this is actually, specifically, this is a Rode Procaster, not a podcaster, a Procaster, uh, it is a dynamic mic, uh, there are loads of, of, of comparison videos on YouTube that go through the difference between the various mic types you can get, I I'm, I'm don't claim to be an expert, I'm not going to go through that now, um, the basic of this is that imagine it more like a a focused shotgun microphone so the procaster is going to pick up what's in front of the mic more than it is behind the mic more so than my 80 20 20 which is the audio technica mic you can see here hovering on this boom stand here which is the one i'm currently talking to you on this was my original mic i was using the 80 20 20 at all times uh it's a fantastic mic i've recommended the usb version to several of my friends and several streamers who love it there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever um i'm in a situation where i have a block of background noise i haven't got a quiet setup even though i am in a pr proper studio you'd think that would be perfect but it's not um it can pick up a pin dropping for miles away so i decided i want to try something different i had a requirement for a second mic when we were doing the guest streams so it was uh, path of course to try something different. I, I just didn't know until I tried it how big or better or worse it would be So as it happens, I think I prefer it I like the sound from the Procaster and we'll go to that through that in a different obviously every mic has a different profile has a different style has a different sound to it um, And again, there are professionals out there that can tell you this stuff far better than I can Okay. Um, 
anyway okay so we go through from the mic here obviously an xlr cable the cable then goes under the desk and comes up to my mixer this here is my mixer now this is a yamaha mg 10 xu this is a four channel mixer from yamaha uh this is an upgrade from my previous mixer which i sent to bloodstorm uh he was is streaming was streaming i needed a mixer i sent it to him free of cost because love i don't know whatever i just did um so this is this allowed me to have multiple now i've got four channels for future proofing obviously you if you have one mic and you're a solo streamer they will only need one channel uh, i advise if you can afford if you can find to get a mixer that's got at least two channels it's the same reason i had if you have someone who brings a mic with them if you plan on doing guests or if your stream takes off and you want to do multiple sound locations so if you're doing um, creative streaming like me i've got a mic next to my pc and another mic over at my painting desk it just makes a lot life a lot simpler for me um if you're doing tabletop gaming if you're doing anything that involves multiple humans uh one side of the battlefield the other side of the battlefield again two mics makes perfect sense okay um so right so there's that um so yeah from the mic through the xl cables into the mixer from the mixer then this is a usb mixer so it's got a um a dac i think it's called a dac inside basically it acts like a sound card so i plugged it into a usb port on the back of my pc and it acts as if it's a sound device itself okay we'll go through that in a minute um and then from then obviously with the other cable mic here same concept this is my 80 20 20 another xlr cable around the back around the hidden and pop back into the same mixer now i have two channels on my mixer and we'll go through that in a minute um in fact what i can do also doing this quickly is i will show you uh that yeah, it's it's pretty horrendous but we're going to fade this in so here is an actual camera setup you can see things moving hello hands this is the actual thing so the reason i've got this photo this camera setup is i'm going to go through the settings on the actual mixer for you for those that purchase the same mixer or have the same mixer um we'll go through that as well um but you also you can see additional from that photo there's a, another piece of equipment below here this item here this is the 286S preamp processor. It's a mic preamp processor. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff we can go through later on. Um, this is only a one channel item. So that box, that's this item here, only applies to my painting mic. This mic you're hearing right now just goes straight to the mixer. Okay? Completely bypasses the silver box. Um, it's just as it comes from the mic to the mixer, from the mixer into OBS. And we'll go through this, the, the software stuff in a minute. Um, so yeah the physical device is set up is there um this mixer gives you the ability to change things like we can change uh, the amount of bass mid treble we can change a gate compression to how a compression for example is um if you find you're watching a streamer or yourself you'll find that um if you're moving from the mic away if you're dynamic in your movements if you're looking away over here and you're looking back over here and you're over here all that kind of stuff it, it tries to help minimalize the difference between the two okay so if you're um if you're a loud person when you get excitable you really shout and then when you're actually kind of thinking things through you're really quiet it's the differences from the peak loud to the peak low and it tries to compress them and bring them together okay so the differences aren't as big okay so that's what a compressor does in the basic terms again this is all kind of refudge from what i've learned from watching other videos so again go and do your own research on youtube to get the, the scientific specifics uh this is just my understanding my go through and the way i've set things up um so obviously you no know, how the mic sounds varies to your voice to your level to uh, to the environment you are in so we could go through the different settings of each knob but we don't really care about that you no know? i'm just trying to show you that this is something you can get and you can play with okay uh, this is also the awesome thing that does the sound effects that but everyone, everyone loves, loves this, this stuff. stuff that's the, the same, same thing it's just 24, 24 channels as you can see although well, the 21 is actually 24. you can see that's just a sound effects bank of many many variants you can do karaoke and echoes and silliness and what have you so that's all through that okay that's how that that's the magic there um okay so that's the basic physical elements now i've skipped over somewhat the mic preamp processor like i said that goes from my painting mic into the preamp from the preamp to the mixer and that does a manner of things as preamp suggests it's to bring the volume up a lot of these mics will but if you were to plug them straight into it from xlr 
it would it would be a nightmare. It would it would well not a nightmare. It would be really really quiet. It would be tinny. It would pick up a lot of background noise. The preamp processor goes through all of the various bits and bobs. So it does it um, allows you to increase the or the actual volume. Uh, it has its own compressor. It's got a de-esser. So if you like me have a very horrible nasally British nerdy pasty voice with a lot of s's. This S noise can be quite piercing. Like on this mic, like you just heard, it's probably quite sharp. Um, the DSR allows you to bring those tones down, neutralize that frequency, and have um, so when you're saying a lot of S's in directly into the mic, it'll, it'll try and improve the quality. Again, less. Uh, it's again, it's it's very hard. You just have to try it out and see how it's different. I've been messing with them all the time. Every stream I've been messing with it, and most people won't notice a difference except for me. When I watch the VOD back, I'll notice a difference and whether I like what it sounds like or not. And we'll get there in the end, but it's still not perfect. Um, you've also got things like the enhancers, which very similar to um, to the uh, M210XU here, very similar to these setups of your, your high, your mid, and your low. Down here on the, um, the enhancers, we've got the low frequencies and the high frequencies. And again, you can change that. So I would mess with this live, but you won't hear it at the moment. We'll do it on the other mic. Um, and then the expander gate. So the expander and the gate is the absolute bomb. It's the reason I effectively purchased this. Um, is because um, the, a hardware gate, as in blocking out background noise, only enabling your certain frequencies of your voice will help you so much when you're in a room like this where it gets very warm, very hot, my computer's very loud, the fans are leery, and it will give you background noise. You are hearing background noise now. You might not realize it, but when I show you the difference between the two, you'll, you'll realize the difference between this mic and the other mic. Okay. Um, so yeah, okay, let's uh, jump back over to the next thing. So once we go through all the microphone stuff, some of you are probably just using headsets. Some of you might have USB mics directly into the back of your PC. That's fine. It's not a problem. We can still deal with that. That's where the wonders of the software we're going to go through today comes in. The likes of Voice Meter Banana, the voice of Equalizer, um, and then obviously OBS itself. Okay. So I think that's a very brief overview of the hardware. We can go and we probably will go through each bit individually later on. But for now, let's skip through to the next part, um, which is, of course, uh, the hardware side, oh, sorry, the software side. So let's uh, fade back into this. Right. So this is the secret weapon. Some of you may be aware of it. Some of you may not be aware of it. You need to go to this website, vb-audio.com. This is a fantastic company, a fantastic website that has multiple things we're going to use. We are going to use Banana. Yes, that's right. I may have an exclamation mark Banana. It may be a nightmare, but Voice Meter Banana has been my savior. This is a very, very powerful piece of kit. I recommend every single one of you get. It is used by all the top streamers almost ex you know, exclusively as the number one piece. Um, it's it's fantastic. And we'll go through exactly the power of this in a moment. Um, on top of this, if you are like me and you only have... Well, I say only have. If you have onboard sound, this will be fine. Um, but you can get away with it. But ideally, you want virtual audio cable, which is this here. So long story short, this creates, as it suggests, two fake audio input output. So it, cr it creates devices on your PC, makes your PC believe that there's another output device to put the audio to, which you can then select later on. Now that might sound confusing, um, but we can go through, um, we can go through the, the, the setups. Like I said, I've got mine fairly involved, maybe more than you'd require and you need to, but it would really help. Okay. Um, uh, does it also work for all USB mics? Any USB port, you know, like, we'll go for this again. If you've got a, a USB mic plugged in, it'll pick it up as a mic input device. So we can go through that as well. You'll see this in a minute. I've got my own headset set up, um, the same thing. So yeah, a any device. Uh, I've got my headset, my gaming headset, both my XLR cables. Yeah, we'll, we'll, you'll see, we'll, we'll get to it in a minute. Bear with me. Um, might be why my sound sucks. <laughs> Maybe, but there's a whole bunch of things that involve this. Not, so, audio isn't an exact science. Honestly, it's trial and error 99.9% of the time. There's so many variables. Distance from your mouth to the mic. Your, your, literally, your voice, your vocal tone, your pitch, all that kind of jazz. You know, the environment you're in, the reverb from the environment you're in, bouncing audio off other things. Uh, if, your, if your mic is um, on a boom arm or on the desk, if it's picking up vibrations, tons of stuff you, you know if your usb goes round through power cables you might be picking interference up from from power cables there's just tons and tons and tons of stuff um 
okay so but yeah these are the two you want you want you don't you can get voice meter but obviously it's a limited variation required you know, of what we got there's no reason to get voice meter over banana you might as well get banana it just gives you more channels more setups now don't panic this looks confusing on first impression and i guess it is but um you can go through and you can do um so much with it i mean i'm not even using half of it i used to use a lot of it i played with a lot of it um just for experimentation purposes just to try and make myself sound like a non pasty white geek i tried to make myself sound like a badass barry white from america and like you know all the cool kids you hear on the various video game commentaries and esports commentaries i just can't sound that cool no amount of audio software and tuning is going to make me sound like a badass unfortunately i'm just going to be a pasty white nerd so i'll do the best i can to mask up as much of the raspiness but we are we are just ourselves um but okay so once you've got that that'll give us the first thing we need so let's go and have a look at mine shall we let's let's let me show you um what we've got here so give me a second let me uh fade this one out and through the powers of my multiple scenes we can bring this back in and fade this in and boom look at this right Welcome to the bouncing light show that is Voice Meter Banana in its all its glory. Um, okay, so this is my setup that I'm using live. This is the one I have set up um, across um, every... Um, basically since what? Uh, since I got the second mic, I guess, this has been the setup for the most part. I've had a little bit tweak before I even did this stream. I changed a few bits and bobs, you know, going through this and saying, right, what am I going to teach you guys? What am I going to show you guys? I went through and I was checking my own levels in video. I was checking my, you know, I'd, I'd record locally, watch the video back, adjust. So even, even in the last couple of hours of setting this up, it's taken me since three o'clock-ish maybe to really get this going. I'm still learning, you know, so again, this is a learn with, not from as always, but hopefully this finds out something useful. I'm writing an erotic novel. I was hoping you could do some voice acting for me. It's called 50 Coats of Yellow. I'll do anything you want. Just say. <laughs> um, okay, so my, my voice is unique. This is true. All right, so I'm going to go through and show you what each one of the things does first. Okay, now notice uh, in Voice Meter Banana, you can label your, each one of your lines itself. You can literally give them a custom name, okay? So... Uh, you can see already from my custom names what I call these things uh, and what they do, okay? Um, so my AT2020 is actually, that's not technically true now, that is just my mic input. That This one channel does both the lines from my mixer now because both my PC mic we're talking to now and the um, painting mic I'll speak to in, speak to in, uh, through in a minute are going into my um, MG10XU to the mixer. That comes into the MGXU line. So they both come through the same one. Okay, now I'm not doing anything with any of the customization you can do within the channel. This is software level compression, gating, voice adjustment. Now I'm going to show you this just to show you what it can do. Okay, but we're going to turn it back off again because all of the power of the mixing has been done on the hardware. Okay, so software wise, if you do not have a mixer and your USB mic is plugged straight in to um, your computer and you have this piece of software, you can do things like this. We can turn on right now uh, an Italian so watch this I can do that and I can add a bit more bass how you doing we can go over to this corner and be a bit higher okay so we can do this as well hell we can go all the way to this corner and now we sound like this hell why not let's go let's go voice radio now we sound like a 1970s radio so you can find all of the levels you want in here and double clicking it to turn it back off again so that alone gives you power of adjustment you can add a bit more bass to your, to your audio you can add a bit more compression you can add pitch tone whatever you wish on top of this literally there is a compressor now a compressor will uh, allow you to um, as I've said before kind of balance the difference between distance and uh, uh, away from the mic uh, and loud and quiet so if you shout and then you're really whispering and you have a high compression the difference between your shout and your whisper will be reduced into this channel it can make you feel flat it makes it the sounds a bit fluffy a bit uh, it's obviously not as sharp there is issues with this as well okay it's not perfect but hopefully it'll help okay now i've got my compression off now i used to have this on the reason it is off is like i said i've transferred as much as i can onto my hardware okay so i've got 
again just quickly let's just swap this over just to show you quickly on my mixer here we're talking through this channel here now i can see my level is all the way up if i turn it down obviously you're gonna not be able to hear me anymore and it's gonna go in the area all right so that's level that's simply level in here we've got the mid so the, the, um, the base, the, the lows, the mids, the highs, and compression. This yellow one up here, which you can't see very well because my lighting is horrendous, I apologize, um, is here. I've got full compression on this at the moment. Probably too much, but because this one tends to be all over the place, depending on where I'm talking, I feel like it does the best. Okay? Does the compression work with a loud commercial? Come on, no, unfortunately not. The commercials are the commercials. I don't even run ads here. You guys are unfortunately subjugated to the Twitch adverts. I not once in my entire life as a partner have I run an advert on my channel. I kind of want to though, just once. Maybe, we'll see, just to see what happens. Um, we've also got gain and volume. Like I said, we've got the volume up full whack, but I can still go louder. But as the gain goes up, now this is the difference between gain. Be aware you will hear more background noise. Listen to this. This is me not talking and just pure background noise. Right, now watch this. You may not have heard much difference there. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll turn the gate off entirely so it doesn't turn off at all. Now I'm gonna turn the gain up. So you can see the difference. So the more ga um, gain you have, the louder it's going to pick up everything. Background noise, the lot. And this is where a gate is critical. I hear so many streamers that have nice vo vo uh, voice and vocal levels and all that kind of jazz, but you hear this background noise of all the Puta fans, of all the, hi all the hisses, all the, all the knocks and the, the paintbrush licking and the water bottle dinking and the tapping of water brushes, the whole lot is horrible. So this is where a gate comes in. Uh, a software gate will never be as good as a hardware gate. That's fact. But in this instance, a minor gate. Seven months. That's seven pieces of your soul. Boy, ha 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 Banana. <laughs> Banana, indeed, weird brush. Thank you so, so, so much for your continued support, man. Truly appreciated, humbled. Thank you so much. It's incredibly, incredibly kind of you. Um, <laughs> my hardware gate is fat. Yes, disgruntled. Uh, the, the hardware gate that I got through the two uh, two eight six S, I love. That was a piece of hardware that uh, that was um, brought to my attention by Bad Bad Robot, who's another streamer. He's a variety streamer, fantastic dude. Um, also very community based, as his own kind of streamer give back he does an ama session where and ask me anything to do with streaming which is where i found out about the compression so hopefully people are finding out through this as well obviously it was kind of weird that i'd been doing the streamer 101 episode since i started and then i find another streamer doing a very similar thing but it was fantastic um and yeah he's, he's, he's an awesome dude so check him out as well um but again this is the kind of thing i'm always like I'm, I'm think at a stage now where i'm kind of happy with the hardware side of things but the hardware gate was just 10 times better than the banana forced me a banana one but when you're running a usb one it really is fine you know it's it's like i said this is overkill potentially certainly you don't have to go out and spend all this money for just starting the a software like this is ideal okay so we've gone through gate and um, we've gone through compression we know what that does this basically sets it so that watch this level here when i'm not talking There's a lot of background noise there. So if I put this up even higher and say, okay, I want to I cut, cut out this much. But there might be a situation where this is too high because it might cut out the start of my sentences or the end of the sentences, what, what was called clipping. So if you put your gate up too high, your sentence, and you know, if you talk too quietly or whisper, that someone might miss the start of your sentence. You have to be kind of careful with this, okay? Stuff like this is where you'll hear some streamers where they'll start a sentence and you'll think you misheard the first couple of letters that's because their gate is slightly too high all right um so it's a fade so this is this is like um the setup now i don't really use this i've got this set up today i literally turned this on today for this mic because the other mic does not need it don't need a gate at all you'll see the difference in the background noise we'll go for that again in a minute okay anyway let's move on so that's our AT2020 line in we've also got you notice I've got Spotify I've got my headset 
I've got VLC Discord, okay? I've got desktop, okay? And then the outputs. So let me go through the fundamentals. I've skipped over a bit of the software. So let's kind of go through. These are all inputs, okay? These are line in to voice meter. And then these are line outs. You have an three uh, hardware-based outs, two virtual outs, okay? It says down here, physical, virtual, okay? So I have an A1, an A2, an A3, then B1 and B2, okay? So up here, on this right corner, you see your hardware outs. Now, this is my actual speakers. This is the speakers. This is the sound card on my computer. I have a sound blaster, um, Audigy. It's an old fatality card. It's kind of trashy, but it works, okay? The other two I have as what is the the kit that we explained about downloading from their previous website. These are the, this is the um, voice meter or voice banana or whatever they're called um, audio cables, the virtual audio cables. Okay, so this is cable A and cable B. You can download two cables. So, what does that look like when you're talking about on your machine? So let's bring in my machine. Now, don't panic. I have a ton of inputs here. So this is my recording inputs. Now, my machine, as you can see, has a ton of devices because I've got you no. Know, three webcams um, and this is a little additional tip by the way if you have got microphones on webcams just disable them don't even give your computer the chance to select them by accident so many streamers I've gone through new streamers are talking through their webcams by accident they'll join Google Hangouts discords whatever they'll go you know um, uh, what you call it you know team speak mumble any of these things and it'll just pick up the wrong device just disable them you don't need them so I've got some hands-free wireless headset thing here. My other C920, because I do have currently have three installed to my computer. Um, I, I think that's my default headset and my onboard sound. My motherboard has onboard sound as well, so I ignored that as well. Um, again, this is my actual mixer. So this is the USB in from the MG10XU. This is the actual input from the mic I'm talking to you right now, okay? Um, Bunch of bounce we don't care about, more microphones, more random onboard stuff, and then the funky stuff. So this is cable A, cable B, and a default virtual audio cable. All of these are from Voice Meter Banana. Okay. Now these two are the outputs, the virtual outputs from Voice Meter. Okay. So what that correlates to, if I'm looking at this software, and hopefully you guys can see this. Yeah, cool. This is my aux out. That's this one. So as I talk and this bar goes up, so does this one. Okay. This one is the other one. This is the B one. Now notice my B one is currently set to Spotify. It's also set to my desktop. So if I was to come and pick up my Spotify playlist, let's uh, just show you Spotify briefly and play you some tunes. Now you can see this is going. You guys can hear it. We'll go through that in a minute. I have a separate track. My Spotify is here. My mic is here. And I can, and I can do what I want when it comes to this, okay? Like deafen you, for example. But you get the idea. So now I've got my separated audio to this thing. Now this is where it gets fun. This is the input of Spotify, okay? Now on the outputs, I can hear it. You can hear it. Now what if what if someone out there? You know, like uh, for example, if we're doing song requests, okay? So song requests coming in through YouTube. That's my desktop. Um, but just just bear with me. Let's say we're doing it with Spotify You know, I can actually if I was to mute this channel here. Let's just find a tune that doesn't finish annoyingly um, There we go, right, so we've got a tune going so like, if I mute this You can't hear it. I can't hear it, right? But if I was to mute it over here on B1 You can't hear it, but trust me. I can still hear it Okay, so I can invert that as well. I can do the same thing. Now I am listening through my speakers. I'm listening through uh, You can't see that because my webcams in the way apologies guys hold up That's better. Can you see now? There you go. Let's do that. So I'm listening through a one speakers my headphones right here Are plugged into my sound card. My sound card is on speakers audio a one this one here Um Hold on one second. Uh, the cracks and pops are going to get more intense than each because I'm really, really close. I'm talking loud. I'm messing with this on purpose. Bear with me two seconds. Um, so yeah, I've got my audio here. Now, if someone is sending troll songs, I can just mute this one and I won't hear a single thing. In fact, I just won't hear any music whatsoever. But you guys will. 
Okay. So this is the power I have straight away. So this allows me to um, to basically block out troll songs, turn down things. If I'm doing a tutorial, if I'm talking through a painting specific technique, if I'm uh, just got a headache, if I've got anything that means that I don't particularly want to hear the tunes that are going on, I can just turn them down, I can mute them entirely, and you guys will still hear the music. So right now you can hear the music because I can see it going up and down on B1, but for me on A it's completely muted. Okay? So this is the, the power of this, separating out your audio, your alerts and so forth. So if I stop Spotify now, you'll notice that's gone down, um, and you can't hear, uh, you can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. Now, if we switch to desktop, now this is a bit more of a struggle. So let's switch over to YouTube. I've got a YouTube thing called Stranger Synth set up here. It's just a, um, it's just a YouTube video, the same way as we have with Phantom Bot. So Phantom Bot, YouTube, anything that uses audio through a browser, through Chrome you're going to struggle to separate from uh, audio alerts. So from Streamlabs, from Muxy, from Stream Elements, whatever you may use, because they all use the same audio. So you're hearing right now a YouTube video, right? You can see this now. Now here's the difference. Spotify isn't going, so that channel's clear. But notice this one that says desktop is going. Let me pause it just so you can see again. Now I brought your attention to it. I've paused it. Now you can see that's dropping. Okay. So you can see here I've got my desktop setup as the input voice meter aux so this is literally um can i show you this here on this stream probably not give me a second no just basically you know in windows when you have your desktop setup your audio setup your desktop audio device that's what i've got here so if yours is just your onboard then this is what you have as your onboard okay um but this is your desktop so again let's play our youtube tune now you can see here this channel is being fed to audio ro um, routes A1 and B1. So that means it's going into A1, which is recon, which is what I'm listening to, so I can hear it. And it's going to B1, which is down here, which is what you guys are listening to in OBS. And like I said, we'll go to OBS in a minute and I'll show you how this all ties in. But just get the idea that each one of these inputs are being channeled to a specific output. Okay, so we've got B2 for my audio. Um, so my mic right now and this mic here which is not being used it's literally the gaming headset I used to use I haven't used it for months but it's there because it allows me to have three inputs I can have someone wearing a headset I can have someone on this mic and we can have someone on the other mic which is over at my painting station okay uh, Spotify is on B1 as is desktop okay and then A3 is discord so if I jump into Discord later on and someone joins me in a voice chat, you can see how I can separate out my guest's audio, my music audio, my own audio, the desktop Streamlabs Muxy alerts, so that all of them can be adjusted individually if someone says the alerts are too loud or the guest is too loud or, you know, I can not have to panic about going to Discord and down, say, you know, I could still hear them the same level, but you guys will hear something different, okay? So right away, you should see the power of separating your audio tracks out. Now, the only thing I haven't been able to, um, to, to solve yet is the separation of desktop audio to my Streamlabs because they all use Chrome. They all use, um, uh, they all use um, Chrome's audio device and Chrome itself, uh, currently, as things stand, you can't change the output device. It just uses the default desktop audio. So you still have to set your levels of your alerts within Streamlabs using the volume um, sliders in the Streamlabs dashboard. And we'll go for that in a bit. Okay. But if you're not using, if you're not using YouTube and you are using something like Spotify VLC, then we're quizzing. You're perfect because you can mess about. Okay. Um, what music is this? I can't remember. It's the Stranger Synths YouTube video. There you go. Just for you guys. Okay. Bit of fun there. Um, Okay, so let's jump back then. So you've got the idea of this input output and you've got the idea that we've got these three physical devices. Although physical, the reason we've got these virtual audio cables is to trick the computer into thinking we have three output devices, three sound cards, okay? That allows us to do the separation. Now, if you've got a very basic setup and you're quite happy to have a basic setup with just you talking, your music, your alerts, then you don't really need three outputs, but again, you'll have to adjust how you do things but for me having my mic on this b2 
which obviously you can see I've boosted up. Um, having my music, so whether that's desktop with, with Phantom Bot song requests or whether that's Spotify on B1, and then having my, my guests on this A3, that's the difference, my guests are on a separate um, pretend virtual cable that my machine believes is a physical device. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Um, welcome everyone who's coming. I have seen you guys in chat. I'm not ignoring. I'm just going to on a on a roll. We're also going to export this to YouTube as well. So, um, tech questions. Um, so, can you make a stream streamer listens to his music and viewers listen to another music? Yes, yes, you could. I mean, there's nothing. So, okay, let's let's assume that's the case. All right. So, Oriel, if you wanted to make your viewers listen to um, non copyright music, so that you could export your vods to YouTube and not have to worry about them being muted, but you wanted to listen to the Slayer and the Metallica and all that kind of jazz. You could do that with my setup right now. Because what we could do is we could go into, I'll, in fact, I'll do it right now, okay? So let's go into here. All right, I'm gonna start my generic tunes, okay? So I've got mine playing now. So let's go to my metal, mixed metal of wind, whatever, who cares? Uh, where's my new thing? Whatever. Here you go, we've got some, some lovely Linkin Park going, okay? So there's the tunes. Now you guys can currently hear Linkin Park, right? I can hear Linkin Park, you can hear Linkin Park. All right, but watch this. So I've got it coming through A1 and B1. A1 is what I hear, yeah? So I want to carry on hearing that, that's cool. But I don't want you guys to hear it anymore. I can hear it. Somewhere I belong. All right, now you want to play some different music. Well, now I'll go over to here. We'll get my Stranger Things and I'll press play. You guys can hear Stranger Things, but now so can I. So now I've got Linkin Park and Stranger Things going. That's kind of weird. Well, okay, I'll just get this one and I will just turn it off from me. Now you're hearing Stranger Things. I'm hearing Linkin Park. If you wanted to. It's a bit confusing. I don't know really why you want to do that. You have to start and stop two different sources of audio. But if you wanted to do it, that's how you do it. You can still hear me. I'm still hearing Lincoln Park. You guys are hearing Stranger Things. Okay. So let me just turn it all back on anyway. I don't want that to be too confusing. So let's go back to B1. So now you guys should be hearing Lincoln Park. He says. He hopes. He's got that right. Yeah, there you go. Cool. All right, so that's that one answered straight away. Boom, done. Thank you, Oriel. <laughs> um, how you doing, Shoshi? I love your tech streams. It's wizardry. I appreciate that. Hopefully, you find it useful. Obviously, you can go back through, watch the VOD back, and do that. Um, Uh, I'll read that later on. Okay, sorry, I've got a random whisper I need to look at later on. Okay, cool. So, let's go back on the point. So, you've seen about how separation things so are the audio stuff. Let's stop Linkin Park for a second. Um, uh, okay, cool. So, next on. So, once we've got the separation going out, you're about how about using this with OBS that makes sense? How How... Do we want to use this in OBS that you guys get the full impact of what we're getting? Now, this is where the separation of audio comes through. Um, so I'll bring in my OBS. You're going to get um, a bit of OBS inception. There's no way of avoiding it, really, unless I do... So it's just showing the top. Maybe I could do that. It's kind of funky. There you go. All right, so you can't see the previews up there. You don't need to, but we're looking at the level. This is what matters. So obviously, you're seeing all the setups and all of the scenes I've got. I've got my very elaborate OBS setup with many, many things in here far more that's a whole nother episode we'll go on to later on all we care about right now is the audio tracks okay so we're looking currently at the audio tracks now for gaming so as i'm talking into this pc mic bear in mind we haven't even started to talk about the, the painting mic yet you'll see that this is my voice here now if i was to play my um uh, spotify once more let's just put um lincoln park back on although actually no let's not put lincoln park i don't want this to get muted so let's just go back to our random uh, non-copyright random stuff there we go cool so we've now got our music going now you can see I've got Mike 2 Mike Orcs Mike 3 now ignore the names I wish I could rename them maybe I could I haven't really given it much care but the critical thing is here we're not using desktop audio and we're not using the line in so let me go through and show you what we are doing okay so let's go to settings 
when it finally loads and go to our audio. So this is where I'm gonna try to get it to tie in for you. So let's pop this where you can see it. Can you see that there? Yeah, there we go. All right, and then let's bring this over here. Are we tidy? Nah, yeah, we're tidy enough. All right, cool. So we've got music playing, my mic playing, okay? We know that my mic's coming out of the, the, the B2. We know that the music's coming out of B1. And we know that our friends in Discord are gonna come out of B3. Uh, uh, A3, sorry, this one here. All right, I'm sending it to A3. So these are our three outputs. So we want these three outputs to be input into OBS. So that's what we've done here. But you don't wanna use your desktop, otherwise that would bypass this software entirely and it would be the output of A1. Remember, we're talking here, in my case, my sound card is called the SB Recon PC3D. Okay. I'm gonna turn it down for me a bit more actually. I do, I'll, just, I'll just stop it for now anyway, I don't need the music going. So these three channels come in and you can see how it's peaking. Does it go red there? It's because I'm making it crackle because I'm speaking directly into the mic loudly. And we'll go through that again in a minute. Loads, loads of stuff to go through. I am trying to go through it in some kind of order though, so do bear with me. Okay, so we're not using desktop audio, so I've just disabled them. Okay, my sample rates are 44.1. You can experiment with this as much as you want. Some have different rates. Um, I've never really messed about with it. I've just left it as it is. But the critical things here are the outputs are the same things. Mic auxiliary, one, two, and three must match the three that we are playing with uh, in voice meter here, okay? So let me just pop my everything here a bit more. So my voice meter VIO out, voice meter VIO out is this one. This is the VIO, you'll just learn this, you'll just know. This is this one, and the auxiliary is the secondary one, okay? <laughs> Humbling. Thank you, Flick. We'll be lost without your teachings. <laughs> I'm sure you'd find your way. I'm sure you would. I just do my best, doing what I can. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. There's no need, but I am incredibly grateful, of course. Thank you so so much. Um, yeah, <laughs> didn't expect donations for doing tech support. This is nerd stuff. I don't think anyone's going to watch this. I expect two people to be watching. <laughs> but thank you so much. Um, okay, cool. So, um, voice meter out, voice meter via, and then cable B output. So, just to be clear, that reference there, where it might be confusing, the cable B output is the virtual audio cable number two that I have selected as the output device of channel A3. Okay, well, if you look up here, A1, A2, A3. If I click on A3, you'll see here that it's my speakers VB audio cable B. Okay, so that there matches VB audio cable B here. Okay, so I selected the three output tracks of this, or well, input, I get confused with the input and output. That's the output, they're the inputs, either way, whatever. But these three line up with these three, okay? And then you can see in OBS, the green line's moving. So when, I'm pre um, when I press uh, play on the audio, you're gonna hear the audio there? There you go. Hey, Gam Gam, lovely to see you. Brief good evening and chat um, from Jamaica, very cool. I'm having a wonderful time. We're being nerds here, talking about some tech stuff, not even doing anything artsy. But there you go, you can see the audio there being played through this as well. And again, like I showed you before, if I wanted to mute the audio for everyone, I can mute it here. If I wanted to mute it just for you guys, I can mute it here and I can still hear it. Or you could just do it in OBS. I could just do the classic. Oh, wait, I've got them. Oh, I've got settings open. <laughs> Let's just cancel that. I could go up here and I can mute it there for you as well, should I wish to. So I've got so much power around the audio now where I can really mess with levels. Obviously, when when making it um, uh, more advanced, more involved, more um, allowing you to do more stuff, there's obviously more stuff that can go wrong. So I'm always messing with audio levels, I have to do audio checks at the start of the streams, I'd advise that anyway. Just go into here, do a start local recording, just check your mic, check your music, check your alerts. Press stop, listen to it back, make sure it's not gonna blow someone's ears out and you're all good to go. Sometimes I don't have time to do that, but. <laughs> yeah, man, gang, gang. <laughs> the colloquialisms from my mother in currently in Jamaica. Looks like I've logged into a tech priest controlling a titan. <laughs> yes, the titan that is Twitch itself. <laughs> I mean, she's talking in binary. 
all the ones and the zeros. Thank you so much, Sean Phoenix, man. That's incredibly kind of you. I appreciate that. Very, very kind. Welcome. Thank you. Ten months, man. Good Lord. It's going crazy. Ten months. As you all know. Uh, how's that even? Where are we? We're into November. Yeah, I guess so. January. Jesus. February will be 12 months. That's insane. I think you're the first person I've seen with ten months in a row. That's scary, actually. It's quite scary. In fact, this coming Saturday on the 18th will be one year streaming. I'll be doing my Twitch anniversary on ja on uh, November 18th. We're doing a Saturday full day fun stream, so look forward to that. More details another time. Let's carry on talking, nerd. <laughs> I was your first sub, so yeah, exactly, Storm. You, D-Day, Imperial Torches. I have to go through the first five. I've got the first five lined up. We're going to talk about you on Saturday, actually. You're on the list. Make sure you're there, 18th. <laughs> um, let's get back on point now. So, okay, so we've gone through the fundamentals now. You know about your channels in, channels out. We've set the three up into OBS. I've shown you how you can separate all your audios out. There's some technical stuff around this that I want to go through. I want you guys to be aware of that you might not be. Watching the VOD on YouTube, watching this back on Twitch, or if you're watching this live. There's some struggles and fundamental issues with separating out the audio around audio devices. So, for example, Spotify in its default state does not let you select a different output device. When you install Spotify, generally, it puts the output device to be your desktop, so your sound card, your standard issue stuff. Um, uh, and um, it would I mean basically you couldn't separate it out. It's the same problem as YouTube and uh, Twitch Alerts, Streamlabs, MuckT, that kind of jazz. Um, you wouldn't be able to separate the channels out. They all go through the same device. You'd be, unfortunately, having a problem between them all. Um, the, w the way you get around that is a really cool piece of equipment. Um, it is called Equalify, or Equify, or Equalify. I can't remember exactly how you um, Which I will just show you quickly on stream now. So this funky little thing here, turn it on and off with the right click, left click, the, the critical thing here is being able to go right click options change sound device now I've changed my sound device output here as you can see from all the available ones here to my VB virtual cable okay VB audio virtual cable right now I'm, I'm not going to change it for me because again back in here you can see Spotify is actually listening to simply the same thing VB audio virtual cable okay so that then allows the output from Spotify to come into here before being spaffed out over here okay hopefully that made sense so in order to get your hand on that Equalify program that quite you have to pay a licensing because they've now gone to Equalify Pro there is a free version I have the free version I will put it into my Twitch server exclamation mark server join the Twitch server it'll be in the tech channel there the same alongside cam control which we went through last time which is the program we use to control multiple C920s during a stream okay so again make sure you go over the server I'll paste it there after this stream uh, and uh, if you guys to download from for the for the foreseeable future of course if you want the pro version that has all the if you actually care about the what the, the functionality of what a qualified uh, does actually within Spotify with all the adjustments available, the EQ, then of course buy the pro version and make sure you give the money to those guys who made some awesome stuff. But this is not um, robbed from them. It was free. It's the free version. It's the non-pro version. They do a very clever job of hiding the free ones that you pay for the other one. I'm just going to put it in another download location. You can Google it. There's multiple other CNET style downloads available. So it's not like we're doing anything shady. Um, but if you want it, it's on the Twitch server. Cool. Moving on then. Okay. So... We've gone through a whole bunch of the physical stuff now. We've gone through voice meter banana, the separation of the audio, various ways of tuning things. Uh, we've gone through compression. We've gone through gating. We've gone through the video effects, the voice effects. We've not messed with any of the stuff to do with treble and all that kind of jazz here. Um, we've gone through the limitations around um, Streamlabs. So we'll do that now. Um, we've obviously, you guys have been hearing some subscription and some tips thanks to the lovely people watching right now live um, but if I show you the, the struggles the final struggle that I wish I could fix I wish I could solve um, is that Streamlabs or any kind of like I said um, alerts that come through Chrome uh, come through your desktop audio so if you watch the screen here if you watch this column here the desktop audio when I do a test follow we have our friend pop up here and you can see, look, he's not covering it. No, he's not. Good. 
There you go. So you can see it comes to my desktop audio on A1 and B1, which means it's on the same channel as the music. Now, I've obviously got B1 set out here. I could, if I wanted to, send my desktop to separate to Spotify, but it makes no difference because I've already got the control of Spotify's volume adjustment here compared to, you know, so we could just, you know, just for the sake of argument or just for, just for demonstration purposes, we can pop our music back on and I can just I love this show. point being I can simply change the level of the music compared to the alert or vice versa I can make the alert louder and leave the music the same as it was I'm just showing you that I have a separate um, control of the audio of the two I don't have the same ability when it comes to phantom bots um, song requests or anything like that because it's all through YouTube so as I've already shown you, um, where's my Stranger Things? There it is. Uh, that one. Um, with Stranger Things, it's on the same same track. So you're always going to have that adjustment problem there. There's just no way of avoiding it. As far as I can tell right now, until Chrome allows you, um, or Streamlabs allow you to choose an output device, which is unlikely, they're going to be linked. So if you are a streamer who uses YouTube as your music, then you're going to struggle. I advise you switch to Spotify. I advise you switch to VLC or some sort of program that allows you to change the output device to allow you to use the full power of Voice Meter Banana. Um, yeah, that's about that then. Um, okay, so the only other thing to show you really more than anything is, is the the other mic. It's set up through the, the, the physicals. Um, Obviously, if you guys have got any questions, if I've skipped over them too quickly, do let me know. I'll go back through it. Um, but that shows that. I've spoken about Voice Meter Banana. We've spoken about Qualify for Spotify. Um, the other thing about sound and audio setup that some people skip over uh, is the um, now playing stuff. So, I use a, func a piece of software called Snaz. So, Snaz is a multifunctional streaming tool that I advise you download. Uh, it does a multitude of things, including countdowns, count-ups, chronos, uh, times, dates, all that kind of jazz. You can do things like viewers, which I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, system info, which shows you how bad my current setup is because my CPU use is, is horrendous. That's not actually true. It's not 100. Look, it's 61 according to... But anyway, ignore that. What we use it for is now playing. Okay. So the now playing song there, this is what powers the output text file that I then use when we're doing our painting schedule here. If I go to full screen and I go to my now playing, you'll see here that this is a spammed URL that goes to a SNAZ text file. So if I just copy this, just to show you what I mean, go to browse, throw that up here. Well, you can see it already. So you've got the chrono up, chrono down, date, time, and track info. And that's what I use to power my overlays when we're doing things like the now playing um, from uh, Spotify. Okay? So that's what Spotify outputs. It um, Snaz ties into Spotify. Spotify writes to that file, or Snaz writes to that file, sorry, and then OBS picks up that file. That's the same software. Snaz is the same software I use for the chronos. Um, when we are doing stuff like you'll, you'll see it here, you'll recognize some of these. So I've got my when we're doing countdowns to giveaways, or if I'm doing a 12 hour stream saying how long we've been live for, that sort of thing is all done through this one piece of software. Okay. All right, so that covers that as well. Um, no worries, <laughs> no worries, getting in. Uh, grand stuff, yes, it did, dude. It literally arrived today, and I'm terrified to open the box with the ribbon around it <laughs> so yeah but it's got it it's got here dude we're all good um okay what else do i need to talk about what else do i need to think i think i've kind of covered anything in like 400 miles an hour but i think i've basically covered all the bases of the very fundamentals i guess um done that covered that covered that we don't really need that there I've gone through the physical devices, output devices, I've gone through how to set up your now playing, separating audio, controlling audio volumes. Um, I will show you the background noise thing and the importance of having a good setup gate, a good setup expander, a well set up, good setup, oh my god, apologies, a well set up uh, expander and gate. I'm still learning, 
but if we switch over to um, the other setup, which I'll just do quickly now. Um, let's just do that. So let's just uh, blast away with a hit. So bear with me. Two seconds. All right. So hopefully you can hear me again. This is probably sounding slightly different. So let's um, stop the music for a second. I want to show you the the gate that we spoke about. So the expander and gate setup uh, goes through this mic. This is the mic that I use for my painting setups. Now I would switch to the painting screen, but the camera is currently pointing at the mixer. So actually, I, was, I guess I could do just exactly that. Yeah, let's do that. That makes more sense. I like it. Sorry, coughing. Right, so there you go. Now we're in it. This is our normally this is the painting setup, but I've moved the camera over to the webcam uh, to the uh, to the mixer setup. So I am talking to you through my painting mic now. Okay, so this is the one I use when I'm talking to you guys. So I'm doing a normal creative stream. This is now going through. Um, this is now going through the um, two eight six S preamp, which is the silver rack mounted item you see at the bottom. And then from there, that then goes into the line in on the first channel of the MG10XU, which is this channel here. Now notice when we were talking on the PC monitor, uh, sorry, mic, we were using this one. Okay. So notice the green um, knobs on this, hey, knobs, are all set left and right and all over the place. Okay. That's because I have literally set the mid, low and high for that mic. The compression's way up and all that kind of jazz. But if you notice the first channel, everything is neutral. The volume here, the level is set just so you guys can hear me. Again, same thing. I could just adjust the sound. And I can bring it back up again and you can hear me again. Um, this is for the FX. So this is the volume for the FX messing about thing we spoke about earlier. Yeah. So, so if, if I, I talk, talk this on, on oops, sorry, if I, I take this on, on and then do this, this change the effect. Okay. Ever so slightly. Um, and that, but everything else is neutral because all of the setting, the tones, the mids, the highs are all done through the 286 preamp first. So it's as clean as I can get. The only thing I've got turned on on that mixer is the compression. Okay. So again, I'm probably over compressed. Some, some audio professionals probably looking at this going, what is this guy teaching people? Good Lord. I don't know. This is just trial and error for me. Okay. I don't claim to be any kind of audio technician. I'm just simply showing you the setup that I have that I use when I stream and hopefully someone can watch this back and skim off the top what they want, what they need, what they want to learn and, and improve their own audio on their own stream. And we can all have a nicer experience on Twitch, especially in creative. Um, so yeah, notice the gain at the top as well. The gain is all the way down because it's all handled by this. Now, there's only so much I can show you with this. So I'm just going to really ruin any kind of magic and go through all of them. So, I won't go through each one individually of each set um, because there are literally YouTube videos that I use to do this. So I'm sure you can do the same. Okay. I just wanted to show you the difference. Okay. I've got um, uh, no gates set up now on the audio software. Okay. Whatsoever. Let me just, um, I can't really show you this. I have to, I have to fade it quickly. Just to quickly. There you go. Look. So look, there is no gate anymore. Okay. No gate on the software at all. This is a clean as it comes. Nothing's turned on at all. All right. Silence. So until I speak, that one drops all the way to the floor because the gate is on this. So right now I've got a compressor, a de-esser, enhancer, the gate, and then the output all set up. Now there's a funky button here that's called process bypass. Okay, you can't read that because darkness and my setup's a bit limited. Um, but if I, if I press this button, as the name suggests, it's going to bypass all of the pro pro all the processing that's done on this line live, okay? Um, I want you to listen to the background noise. Now, people have told me before they can't hear the difference. I've got it on on my headphones, and I definitely can. But I want you to, I'm going to give you a momentary silence, then I'm going to bypass it, and you'll hear the fans and the kickoff and all the hissing, and then we'll turn it on again, okay? That's everything bypassed. And that's it all on again. Once more.
then again. So hopefully, hopefully people are going, holy shit. Because when I first turned it on, the difference was fantastic. Now, I don't know if this is going to go across through OBS and actually you guys are here the same as I can. But the difference it makes to the background noise is fantastic. Now, it's still not perfect. When I talk, you can hear the background fans. But when I stop, it's not. Now, you shouldn't hear me clipping. You shouldn't hear. And again, if, if I'm starting my sentences uh, and write S's and you're hearing them, then I need to change the setting. That's why it's constantly playing. Everyone's frequencies is different. Notice down here, we've got frequencies on the DS's. So like the hisses, as I use S's for snakes, you can get piercings. Notice there's indications here of turning it on green when it's active, right? But if I do it too much, I whack it up to like five, it'll go red because the actual the frequencies cutting out. There you go, still going red now. Let's try there ish. Because that means that the actual effect is not just blocking out the S's, it's blocking out more, I think. But again, I'm learning. It's a it's a box of wizardry. Okay. I need to go and mess around with it and still play with it. But I overall just the amount of noise. My loud ass PC that this blocks out, worth every penny. Worth every penny. Um, the restrictions, it's only one channel. Now, for most people, that's fine if you're a one-person streamer, especially if you're doing, I know, like, Taria's in the chat here, uh, fantastic support of the stream. She's looking at doing um, spoken word. Uh, there's a couple of streamers. My wife, in fact, is also looking at doing the same thing, potentially. Um, if you are purely a vocal streamer, so if you're doing readings, if you're a highly interactive streamer, if you are doing anything that really does focus on the voice, I can, I promise you, it's worth spending the money. It really is because the quality of your stream will just go up 20 fold. It's exacerbated by the fact of having good audio. Now I'm not saying my audio is perfect. It's certainly not. Um, uh, there are so many streamers out there that have fantastic voice. Tim the Tatman has got his AT2035 set up perfectly. Bad Bad Robot has the golden voice of Twitch since others have left. He's claimed that title and rightly so. His audio is fantastic. Um, there's a bunch of streamers that got really nice setups. Uh, the hardware is going to help. Obviously, a lot of it's down to your own voice. I'm not blessed with lovely dulcet tones of sweets. You know, like Lathius, for example, is known for having, uh, we call him the, the, the Barry White of the Miniature Creative, you know, jokingly. He hates it, but we call him that. So if he had a perfect audio setup or it would, you know, just, it's like, a, to me personally, as someone who spends a lot of time on Twitch, probably too much. If you have an audio setup that is jarring a viewer that's going to come into your stream for the first time and go, what the, this is really loud or this is really fuzzy, it's just going to leave. And the chances are they're not going to come back. It is that, it's literally that. If, if as a creative streamers, most people who watch our streams are lurking. They are painting in my case. If they, you know, whatever your creative passion is as a streamer who's watching this, even if you're a gamer, if you're, you know, if your game sounds are too loud and your audio sounds like you're in a toilet, no one's going to watch your game. They'll go and find someone else playing the same game with better quality audio because a lot of people are there to have you as background entertainment, whether they're playing a game themselves, whether they're painting themselves, whether they're watching you, you know, and solely watching you. But if, you're, if you do sound like you're in, you know, hissy or you're miles away or you're too loud or you're sharp or you have raspiness, then they'll leave. They will. I would. I have done. There, there are several creative streamer friends of mine, people I call friends I like to watch normally that I mute. I mute or I unfortunately find someone else to watch because the audio is just too much for me, whether it's too loud, too quiet, too jarring. If the music's too loud compared to their voice, I'm having to turn them up to listen to them. I'm obviously, I do a lot of work and lurk. I have emotes on my channel here for lurking and working because that's what I do. I, I work from home as a web developer. I'm trying to do some development and coding. And if your audio is crackly or in the background or you know the fans of your PC are going or your airbrush compressor, <laughs> yeah, then it's going to stop me from watching. Luckily, the Warriors, though. <laughs> Listening to your dulcet tones while concentrating on eating this sandwich. Awesome. I hope it's a lovely sandwich. What, what are we having for lunch today? <laughs> Thank you so much for that subscription, man. I appreciate that. Um, okay. I mean, that's kind of it, really. I mean... I've got some time if people want to ask questions. I'm, we've got a couple of people watching. 
Uh, I don't know if, if many have got any specific questions. If I haven't answered the questions, please let me know. Um, obviously, this YouTube will go up on YouTube. Um, um, and people ask me questions and I'll refer to it. We've got lots more ahead of ourselves. We'll do a very similar thing for the video setup. I've got a new camera coming at some point. Hopefully during the November sales, we're using the money coming in from September to purchase a new camera. Um, so I'll go through that setup as well. Obviously, most of you are aware we've got three C920s here. I have two TechNet cameras and I'll have a uh, DSLR camera or mirrorless camera coming as well. So it's a, a big lot of it's a big commitment and a big a learning curve, but hopefully that will be one of the episodes as well in the future, going through the video side of things. Um, again, I don't claim to be the best. I don't claim to have all the knowledge. I'm just trying to do what I can. Hopefully someone somewhere found this vaguely interesting. Um, and yeah, unless I was to go through and repeat myself, I don't really know how much I've, if I've missed anything. I don't think so. Audio in, microphones, audio out, software into OBS. Um, <laughs> question, is there any money in painting minis? If you are a better painter than I am, absolutely. If you are a full-blown commissioned painter, you crack on, absolutely. <laughs> but um, yeah, so there is a, uh, there's, there's a, um, oh, hey, well, Zach, welcome. How you doing, Dave, man? Lovely to see you. Yeah, we are um, just kind of wrapping up. I've just gone through the audio setup that I have here. Uh, multiple things. I will show once more, obviously we're looking right now at my mixer, my MT10XU and the 286S preamp, um, but if I will show you once more the crazy station, um, which we started off the whole stream with. So if I go back to here and do, where are we? That, and that, and then this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, fade that in two seconds. We're going to swap mics. BRB. <laughs> Bye. There we go. My bad. Right. That wasn't very smooth. I apologize. Right. So obviously this is the overkill setup. Um, um, you're looking at my, this is before the DBX. This is before the uh, 286S. Uh, bad bad robots who recommended to me um we've gone through the setups this is the at2020 um audio technica um X xlr version not usb this is a road pro, um uh procaster um not podcaster but the procaster they are slightly different um this is the uh dynamic mic this is the uh cardioid condenser mic um all xlr powered will go through here okay now again this is excessive but the reason i'm showing you this guys is just remember the location as well um, when I'm doing any PC gaming, if I'm doing uh, streamer 101s like this, so we're going through talking about things, if I'm doing any video gaming with friends, uh, anything that involves being around the PC area, this is the setup I use. It's not perfect. I still got to mess about with it. Uh, you just saw us on the, on the painting setup. So it also allows me to have guests in. So when my wife comes in, uh, or if we have a guest painter on, or if we're doing a LAN, if I've got you know, gaming or coding even, we do some t development sometimes as well, all that kind of stuff. This allows me to do multiple setups. Um, we've been through other bits and bobs. I'll go through lighting. My lighting isn't the best. As you can see from face cam, it's okay, but we are dealing with a C920. We've got three of them set up. You can see there's a C920 here looking at the, the work. There's a C920 face cam there, and there's another C920 over there that is my PC face cam that I'm going to do now. We're going to be swapping this out for a mirrorless or a DSLR or a camcorder to make sure that this gets a high level quality, which means this C920 will probably become our palette cam because as you can see here, potentially, let me, let me zoom in a bit more. That there is a horrendous webcam that looks at the palette when it's there, okay? Um, but yeah, we'll go through that. So anyway, that's all the setup. And then software-wise, as we went through, you guys, you're going to need to get yourselves a copy of Voice Meter Banana. It's fantastic. Uh, as you can see, I've got my setup here. Let's just confuse you. There you go, part of the website now. <laughs> We've separated out, we've been through how to separate out our mic, our Spotify, our desktop audio. We've got Discord. No one joined me in Discord. I didn't go through that, but I don't think I need to. You can get the idea. I'd be talking to someone in Discord. I could adjust the volume here. That would adjust my guest's mic uh, in, in the stream. Uh, that's how I did the same thing when we had Streamer 101. Uh, sorry, when we had Airbrush 101s, I was joined by uh, Rainer72 and Sanjin and Iron Headed. Um, we had this through here. Um, 
And yeah, uh, all the outputs here, we're making use of the virtual audio cables A and B, as I've said, so that we have the mic going through here. We've got Spotify going through this one here, which I can then mute to you guys, or I can mute to both me and you, or obviously I can just make sure that this channel doesn't output to A1. Same thing effect. I now can't hear music, but you can, okay? There's so much power in this. Go and have a play. It's fantastic. I trust, just trust me, there's so much more you can do with this. Uh, as far as Spotify goes, in order to get Spotify onto its own output source, like we said, you need to get this piece of kit here called Equalify. Um, it is a um, uh, pro now, Equalify Pro. I have the free version. It's very hard to find the free version download. Exclamation mark server in the chat, guys. I will put the piece of software in the Tech Streamer 101 channel on my Twitch server. Um, and you guys can download it from there alongside cam control, which is how I control the three C920s. Okay? Um, and that's basically it, really. Um, and I'll just check chat one more time to go through all the things. Um, I was going to get the DBX compressor and noise gate. Zach, Dave, dude, it's fantastic. I haven't really figured out all the levels so far, but I absolutely love it. Bad, bad robot, BBR, um, suggested to me, and it's the best thing. The, the gate is fantastic, far better than the audio one that you get here. I mean, this one's still good, but you can hear this mic one currently has an absolute ton of background noise compared to my other painting one. My only, my only qualm with it, my only problem with it is the fact that it's only one channel. Obviously, I'm in a setup here with two XLR mics. I would love to have another channel. I don't want to spend the money again for a second one just for the second mic, but if, if, if I can afford it, if we're doing this in a year's time, maybe I will. Who knows? Um, uh, could you throw up the details of the mixer and the preamp in the server if you haven't already? Yes, I will. After this stream is ended, um, I will put up the links to the Yamaha MG10XU, that is the four channel mixer I use, and to the DBX286S, which is the preamp I use, and the software, like I said. Um, I'm not sure how he paints with all the things in front of him. <laughs> yes, well, that's an art. You can ask Latheus about that. Um, but honestly, once you get used to it, um, this setup is slightly changed. I don't have... Um, I'll tell you what I can do. Give me a second, guys. I think that might work. Yeah, that kind of works. Give me a second. <laughs> Good lord, that kind of works. Check this out. <laughs> so let's uh, let's see if I can bring this onto you. Uh, where are we here? Yeah. If I uh, fade this in for you, there you go. So, well, there's a live shot of the camera. I'm going to make you all ill, okay? I apologize. Only way to do this, really. So I've now got this set up. There we go. Where I can put my hand around this. That's it. Simple as that. Something like that anyway. <laughs> well, it wasn't very successful, but you get the idea. Long story short now. This is the area. This is the background you guys see when I paint. And now the magic is lost, you see. Magic is lost. It broke the fourth wall, guys. The dream. <laughs> I'll do. Anyway, <laughs> I was trying to figure it out at the same time. I probably shouldn't do that live, but yeah, something like that. Anyway, I've got it set up now so that I think that's now better. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm just trying to um, sort it out so it's kind of back where it should be, but it's kind of there. Um, all right, I think, I think that's pretty much pretty much it. Um, 
Do you find the audio delay a problem with sound banana? I honestly haven't noticed it. I mean, I've watched the audio back. My audio sync seems to be okay. I've used Voice Me the Banana since day zero. Um, it seems to be effective. It seems to not have a massive problem for me. Um, I haven't really, like I said to you, when I talk, obviously, those who don't know, um, Zachibus, Dave, uh, ex teammate of mine, uh, Dignitas, he's a fantastic FPS player. He's also a co sports com esports commentary commentator, has his own channel. He's a partner on Twitch. Very successful guy and a lovely dapper streamer. So you should go give him a follow. Plays a lot of Fortnite with his crew. Good fun to watch. Nice, chilled out guy. Uh, also came to my wedding. We go back, me and Dave, we go back. Um, give him a follow, guys. Do me a favor. Um, but yeah, I haven't had a problem with it, dude. I obviously don't notice it. I don't know. No one's already complained to me about it, so. <sighs> that is very cool to me. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for fueling the hobby. There's no need, dude. No need at all. But thank you so much. Truly appreciate that. Hi, put up, guys. New guy, friend of mine, coming over here, showing all the love and support. Um, <laughs> you said to me, I said to you, mate. <laughs> I did it out of love. You didn't have to do that. I didn't, there's no requirement to sub back, dude. I do, I'm, a, I'm all right. I'm a Twitch guy, dude. That's what I do. I appreciate that, though. Um... Um, I'm looking at getting a focus right Scarlet. Not sure exactly which one. The Scarlet range are very, very good. I've had a lot of good things. When I first got into streaming and was looking at the audio side of things, um, I spoke to a couple of guys from the Quad V days. Um, I've got a, front, a bunch of friends of mine now who work for ESL. They work for Twitch. They work all over the place. From uh, I used to do website work for them. They're all video and audio and event streaming specialists and technicians. A lot of them had no real bad things to say about Scarlet. Obviously, they use much higher level uh, kit, but when I asked about it, they said, yeah, seems all right. Uh, I know a lot of voice actors use them as well. So the, the Focusrite Scarlet kit is cool. It's good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's an audio uh, interface. Um, obviously, it hasn't got as much of the um, complexities and, or, and the leveling that's available when you've got a mixer like the MG10XU, but they work. Um, I have nothing against them. I've not got direct experience myself, but there's a bunch of YouTubes as usual. Like I said at the start of this stream, it's not meant to be saying to you guys, I'm, I'm kind of audio expert. I'm not. I'm simply running you through what I use right now in this setup. Okay? Um, but check it out. Um, that's fine. Hey, Spam. Um, I have links disabled in Phantom Bot, but they still delete viewer links. Tried resetting it again and again. Any ideas? Love spam. Um, spam text. Have you got any other bots involved at all? Is Nightbot still there? Moobot still there? Anything like that? Also, check Twitch. Twitch themselves have a setting in your panel um, um, that uh, can remove links as well. So just make sure you've got all your settings in your actual settings on Twitch as well. But. I that had a problem. I never turned it on. The moderation stuff, I just turned it all off with Phantom Bot, and I've not had a problem. So, check Moobot, Phantom Bot, um, to Nightbot. Make sure you've got no other bots in your channel still by accident. Check your Twitch settings themselves. Go through all of your moderation, auto mods turned off, all that kind of jazz, because auto mods are bitch. And then obviously Phantom Bot, like you say, turn it all off and see what happens. Um, I need to reconfigure VM again again because my Windows settings sometimes, yeah, well, I have the same problems. Um, I'm looking to upgrade my PC. As you all know, I s currently stream on around 60% CPU. It's a clusterfuck. I also want to get a proper capture card. Um, I have not got this slot on my, let me get this right, Z77? I think it's called the Sabertooth? Yeah. Um, uh, there's not a free slot. I haven't got a free PCI slot for an internal capture card. So I really want an internal. I don't want more USB. I've got three USB devices for cameras. I've got like eight USB devices in total. I'd rather have something internal than putting more pressure on my USB bus, um, which means I need a new motherboard, which means I need, sorry, I need CPU, which then means motherboard, which then means RAM, which means an M2 probably might as well kind of thing. It just, and it just, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So November's gonna be expensive for me. I'm looking to get basically a whole new core PC plus the capture card, plus the camera itself. So it's gonna be a nightmare. Um, so that's all good. Um, but it's not good that. But yeah, check the links for you, dude. Um, why is yellow such a tough color to paint? Because that's the way it's supposed to be, Squid. That's just the way it goes, dude. <laughs> it's a challenge, like white. <laughs> it's fun. You'll be fine. Um, 
when you wear brush do you, um, do you bring in some venting system or go for it i have my door open fully i have my window open fully i'm a separate studio i am not in the uh, in my house i'm in a standalone studio that is um soundproofed it's an old music producer setup so i'm very lucky um which means i don't have to worry about going around the rest of the house i still should wear a mask i do not but do as i do not as um, do as i say not as i do i um yeah i don't advise it but i certainly don't um uh, because yellow has the lowest pigment count of the acrylic paint. Yeah. Kit man to get all scientific on us. Hey, Grandal, how you doing, buddy? Welcome in. Uh, thank you for the subs. I think I'm catching up now. Spam Texas, indeed. All depends on your mic. I was using the SMB7. Ah, oh, yes, the Shure SMB7. The Cadillac of mics. But the preamps are not that strong with it. No. So, Bad Bad Robot uses an SMB7. He also uses what's called a cloud lifter. A cloud lifter does exactly what it's, you know, as we, you'd expect, I guess, and lifts the volume, lifts the signal, so that it can then be put into the preamp, um, which is why you probably struggled. So for the SMB7, for the Shure mic range, it's a pretty much a known fact. You'd go from the SMB7 into a cloud lifter, from the cloud lifter to the 286S. That is the exact setup that Bad Bad Robot, twitch.tv forward slash Bad Bad Robot, that he uses. It's fantastic. But a lot of other mics don't have the problems with focus right, indeed. Go start a stream. Take care, mate. I'll check out a VOD for the audio advice. No problem, Zach. Take it easy, man. Have a fun stream. We are basically done here anyway. This was supposed to be a tech stream only. We're not doing any painting tonight. I might even play a game myself at some point, you know, tonight. I've worked on this, set up for this, to go through this for the last three hours, so... <laughs> um, my, obviously, my family are still ill, and I, as you can probably tell from my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather myself still, so... Um... Shed. He's in a shed. Hey, 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 hey. This is a studio, okay? This is definitely not a wooden shed, okay? It might be a shed. <laughs> Alright, cool. Guys, we're gonna call it there. I, I don't want to repeat myself too many times. That's the questions in the chat. If anyone else has got anything else, let me know. Exclamation mark Twitch server. Exclamation mark server. Please do join the Twitch server. That goes for you guys. If you're watching on YouTube as well, come across follow the stream on Twitch, follow the stream, join the server, get involved. If you've got any questions, if you're watching this after, you can ask on, on YouTube in the comments. I'll try and get some when I can. Um, but you're more than welcome to ask on Twitch directly to myself or on our Discord, which is the Paint Bottle Throwers Discord. I do not have my own Discord, really. I mean, I do have one, but just because I want my emotes, you can join that if you want to use the emotes if you're a sub. But we spend our time on the Paint Bottle Throwers Discord. And again, we've got a Twitch discussion channel there fire out any questions you've got regarding today with the audio or any of our previous uh, episodes when we did the phantom bot 101 and the general overview as well um as far as next we're going to be doing probably the obs one as you saw i've got quite the involved o um, obs with multiple scenes i can show you quickly now just one more time why not because reasons there we go we'll just fade this in there you go so you can see here just at the top, I haven't got the whole thing showing. But you can see I've got a whole bunch of various modules and each module has various sources and you can see all the thing that goes into setting it all up and all the shortcuts and all that kind of jazz. So we'll go through that in another episode, I promise you. Um, and we've also got a video one. The moment I've got my new camera set up and all the setup there, we'll go through the physical locations of the cameras, um, uh, depth of field, cam control, um, the uh, workarounds, positive, negatives, lighting, exposure settings, color warmth, all that kind of uh, color balance and warmth and all that kind of jazz, okay? But for now, we're done. So thank you all of you that were here live. I appreciate not my normal thing. Hopefully you found it useful. Please give me feedback, positives, negatives, criticisms constructively. Um, they're not very well put together. I do kind of do them off the cuff, but there is some research before just to make sure I at least cover all the bases. A uh, few bullet points, but there's no actual script, so yeah there you go cool all right guys i am gonna jump onto the outro i want to say thank you to everyone um thank you for all the subscriptions tonight as well guys i did not expect anyone to really be here for these streaming 101s i don't really i i, I do put out onto social media but normally live uptake i don't expect much but especially tonight man we had some fantastic peeps come in we had zakibus with a brand new sub thank you so much dave truly appreciated the warriors with a resubscription for four months storm phoenix 10 months Thank you. Weird Brush, seven months, tier three as well there. And we had um, uh, Surreal Lemming with a tier two as well. And Falcon Punch right at the start, again, tier three. You guys, three months um, and five months. Um, thank you so much. Also, Spam Techs, Oriel, guys, tips. 
appreciated always appreciated never required thank you so much hopefully you found it fun again hit me up on twitch hit me up on discord whatever i'm trying to answer the questions as best i can between family life and work life okay cool take it easy guys i'm gonna rocket us on out of there and uh we'll be good so yeah well <gasps> <laughs> it's the wrong setup